Hey you guys, how y'all doing today? I just wanted to share with y'all a very bad day I had yesterday, so let me jump right into it. Yesterday I was on a very hot date with this man named Captain Virgo from Planet Mercury. He's so fine, we vibing very well, when his cell phone automatically answers itself and goes into hologram mode. The hologram turns out to be my arch nemesis, which is Lockjaw. Lockjaw is going off on Captain Virgo about don't leave him and you broke up with me, why you doing it? And then turns around and looks at me and starts throwing me threats and everything. I figured that it was a trap from Captain Virgo and Lockjaw, so I decided to get up and leave and jump on my ship and hit it. Even though Captain Virgo was trying to talk to me, I got in my ship. All I could think about was what happened 10 years ago, y'all, at the club. Went to the club, right? I'm looking good. All the guys are on me in the club. And Lockjaw was in somewhere twerking, looking like a hood rat, looking busted. When I guess he got jealous and pushed all the guys off of me and started giving me the ugliest look in the world. The look totally felt like he was trying to kill me. So I balled up and used my power bomb and blew up the whole club, everyone inside of it, including Lockjaw, old stanky, corroded, crusty, dusty, funky tail. And I hit it. I narrowly escaped. And... While I was in the ship, you guys, I was thinking about how a man so fine as Captain Virgo can be with such a busted trick when my ship gave me a distress signal saying that I have three hostiles breaking into my space villa. These fools have a death wish. So as I creep into my own space villa, you guys, I sink my ship and my home to my suit. And I'm picking up three heat signals. One of them is very faint, but the other two are very close. So as I hop on the elevator to transfer me to the lower levels of my space villa, because that's where they're hiding, I jump all the way off the elevator, land all the way down, make a loud noise, boom, charge my charge shot. And sure enough, I can feel something flying right at me. So at the last minute, I popped up and blast what appeared to be Lockjaw's pet called Amber Geiger. <laughs> Won't be breaking in no more houses no more, oh disgusting piece of filth. The next heat signal was coming from my plant chambers. I called George Zimmerman, Lockjaw's henchman, off guard, planted my heel in his neck and was like, where's the other? He told me, I don't know, you got a talkie locky? I said, talkie locky is bully little in your facey lacy. And I blew his brains out. Went down to the lower level. That's when it started hitting me. I hope this third heat signal is not in my fusion reactor chamber because this could compromise my entire villa. Steps in the reactor chamber and cut off instantly by IV liquid to my son. I'm gonna toss your salad. I said, We not inside the kitchen. Fired off around, cap blasting them off with my charge shot laser. And to my surprise, I be licking absorbent in her mouth and start blasting it back at me. But I thought to myself, something off about this. When I see this apparition over I be licking and it's telling I be licking, mommy kill him, mommy kill him. And I'm just like, what? But I decided to jump off the wall and smack the apparition. And that's when I be licking, grabbed me by my booty cheek, threw me against the wall. And I decided to charge up my charger. I was so mad and my booty cheek hurt so bad, y'all, that I decided to fire off a super missile in the reactor chamber. Stupid of me, right? And it went right into Ivy Lickin's booty hole and it blew up Ivy Lickin right next to my reactor. And then I knew I had to haul like hell out of my villa because I only had precious seconds to escape now because I blew up Ivy Lickin next to my fusion reactor. As I was thinking, crying, leaving my home, um, I was thinking that I'm gonna take the fight to this ugly stinking heifer from bringing the fight to me and this is all about a man you guys all about a man so makes it out hauling like ass out of there because I didn't have that much time jumps in my ship and I hit it makes it out in the nick of time you know So as my ship cruised on autopilot to Lockjaw's home planet and world called Comrag, um, 
I was thinking about that incident that happened 10 years ago. See you guys, 10 years ago, after I used that power bomb and, and just blew up the club and I devastated Lockjaw, crusty, dusty, ugly self, I blew off Lockjaw's entire body. This is how Lockjaw looked. This is Facebook picture. Ugh, only a face a mother could love. And this is Lockjaw's mother that I killed in my villa. Shot that missile right up her booty hole. She's not here anymore. Good riddance. Anyway, so I was thinking about also Captain Virgo because this heifer is mad about that that I blew off his body and this man here, Captain Virgo. And he's so fine, y'all. That's him right there. Yeah, he fine, y'all. I love me some Captain Virgo. We can know each other. So not only is he mad about what I did to his body, he mad about Captain Virgo too, you guys. And I get a text from Captain Virgo telling me. The only reason he was dating Lockjaw in the first place was only because Lockjaw put him under a hypnotic trance with the ugly stare. So now I got two reasons to come to this ugly planet comrade and beat this trick in it. Number one, you tricked this chocolate fine sexy man into dating you with a damn mind control trick. And number two, this half of made me blow up my villa just because he's jealous this man don't want to be with him. And number two, I beat him up in the past. I left Lockjaw alone. But I step out the ship, take off my helmet, breathe in the toxic fumes for a minute, put my helmet back on. And I'm like, it's on, that trick, it's on. I'm gonna beat the brakes off this heifer. Sure enough, I blast through the front door. And to my surprise, Lockjaw got the cheapest home security system, like for Family Dollar or something. I blast right through it. I start blasting at that ugly thing he called a face and was just going nuts. I'm like, now nah, you ugly half you better blow my home over man. I mean I was bouncing off the walls and stuff. I'm rolling around, charging my shot, I'm laying bomb. I'm just going nuts. I'm talking smack. I'm like, you have no neck. You ugly you run out freak. You ain't got no hair or nothing. I blew up your body why you but you come for me. Help for you know you want and sure enough. <laughs> Our jaw had a trick. Like y'all locked all the doors. Like y'all had a new body. Like y'all had more stinking breath, and like y'all now have titties. And this is how I know that like y'all had it out to kill me. Like y'all was bumping Jill Scott in the background. I mean, this trick had it out for me, but I was holding my own. You know, I was blasting him in the face, blasting him in his face, his titties, and his ugly face. And uh, that one eye talking smack. I'm like, this is why he don't want to be with you. Look at my body. I can do all these tricks. And it pissed Lockjaw off. Lockjaw charged up that ugly look and let me have it. I've never seen so much ugly in my life, y'all. I thought it was over. I thought it was the end. But then Lockjaw did the unbelievable and blew his stinking breath in my face. Face. The funk was overwhelming. My fear turned to anger. I switched my gun to Kogue mode. I blasted him in his mouth. I was talking so much stuff. I said, you know it smelled like you was eating brown doo-doo chicken nuggets and washed it down with green tea doo-doo tea. Why did you blow your breath on me, Lockjaw? Why? I was about a man. Lockjaw got so mad. Bone rushed me. That's when I switched my gun to Nakaho mode. And trust me. It is what the name imply. This is how my system sound like. Nakaho has been activated at minimum level. Nakaho has been activated at maximum level. Naka, oh, Naka bitch down. Naka bitch down. Sit down. Lockjaw was no more. I turned that thunder cunt into a pile of ashes. But next thing you know, Planet Comrade and Lockjaw's system started to attacking me. Turns out that Lockjaw synced his life systems to Planet Comrade. So basically, if Lockjaw die, Planet Comrade die. So as I'm narrowly making my escape, my ship messages me. <laughs> P-Brains, you have less than three minutes to escape Planet Comrade. I will leave your ass too. And I'm like, okay, so my ship is glitching. And my ship said, <laughs> all right. So anyway, so as I'm nearly making my escape, I can feel, hear, and smell Lockjaw. His breath was still stinking, so I hit hyper mode, busting up out of there. And that's when it done on me also, as I'm smelling this foul breath. It's even coming through the rocks in the planet, y'all. 
that I might not have enough time to exit Planet Comrag, you know, just given the time that I have. But, you know, I still pressed on and it wasn't looking bright. The sky was lighting up. I knew this was my last mission. I know y'all didn't think I was gonna die. I'm the one telling the story. Wrong. But anyway, I get back to the ship and I got a video message call from yours truly, Captain Virgo. And he just got done with his swimming training. And he told me he watched the news and saw what happened to my space villa and that he wanted me to come stay with him on planet Mercury. So, you know, I cried and stuff. He got emotional, but I had agreed. And it looked like I have a good ending after all. Hello, Jello. <laughs>